I screwed up. <laughs> Ever happen to you? Always happens to you. Well, we had, um, we thought we had the flux capacitor on the way. <laughs> the capacitor. For the air conditioner. <laughs> so apparently, I went through the whole process of ordering the capacitor, except for the most important part of ordering the capacitor, which is the confirm, confirm button. <laughs> And so, um, no capacitor. No capacitor. We just ordered a capacitor today. Yeah. So it's going to be three to five business days before we have. Luckily, we're here a two capacitor. weeks. So. Yeah. Well, today we are in NASCAR country. Richard Childress Racing, and they're open. It's your holy grail. <laughs> it is, because Earnhardt raced for RCR forever. Okay. And then uh, when he got killed in his wreck in Daytona, uh, Harvick started racing for Richard Childress Racing, and now I'm a huge Harvick fan, even though he's over at Stuart Haas. We'll see that in a, in a couple of months yeah. when we get over into the Charlotte area. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. We just saw Chocolate Myers. I guess he does a podcast or something. He's like on the air in there. If you don't know, Chocolate I Myers know. was uh, Ellen Hart's gas man. Yeah. And now he's like the curator at the winery and he does this whole podcast over That's here, cool. which I had no idea about. We just saw him. He waved at me. <laughs> and uh, we just walk in here. There's all kinds of race cars here. And the first thing you see over here is the race car that Dale Earnhardt won the Daytona 500 with in 1998. I'm geeking out. <laughs> I'm gonna geek out all day. You just gotta uh, excuse me because I'm gonna be Nerdsville yeah. all day long. Well, this is a cool place because this used to be Richard Childress's office. Yeah. There's a glare, but we'll show some, some stuff to show it clearer. But the significance of this for us, or for me, really, <laughs> is because I'm a huge Earnhardt fan and he, yeah. he was signed some contracts in here, mm -hmm. racing contracts and racing extensions. And then when he was killed and Harvick to started go. racing, he signed his very first ever Cup Series contract to be a full-time driver in this office. On that desk. On that desk. <laughs> so, again, I'm geeking out. This is it. This is the race car. <laughs> this is the race car that Dale Earnhardt won the 98 Daytona 500, his only Daytona 500 race in. And it's just so cool to to see. I mean, they still got some of the champagne bottles out here yeah. and all. I mean, it's just like, they haven't taken the tires off of it. It's just like it rolled out of victory lane. It's, it's preserved perfectly. Um, just to look in the window and see the seat where he sat and won the Daytona 500 is just just really cool. Yeah. And uh, just, I mean, the tires are still still worn, still got the scuff marks on it, and um, so it's just it's just awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
geeking out some more. <laughs> I don't think I geek out anymore. And I possibly already geeked out. We saw all the Earnhardt stuff. Yeah. Now we're seeing all the rest of the children's stuff. Yeah. And behind us is the race car that Harvick won his very first race at. By that much in Atlanta over Jeff Gordon. Yeah. You're enjoying me geeking I out. Am. <laughs> I think am. she's getting more entertainment yeah, out of it than I am. Yeah. Just watching me yeah. be so excited about it. Because you don't get. I don't get geeked out. Stargazed or no. anything like that. No. So to I see really like don't. his gas man got yeah. you going and yeah. then all the cars. I don't get starstruck really. No. And I've even been to races and we've been at driver introductions where they've walked right past us and really just not much of a, yeah. a reaction. But when you put all of this history in one place and you you start remembering the races that you watched and yeah. you know even though it's just sports some of the emotions that you felt while you're watching those races and things. Yeah. So it it takes you back. So some good good times. This is the race car that Harvick won the Daytona 500 in. It's the only time he ever won the Daytona 500. And Leslie was rooting for Mark Martin at the finish of that race, I remember. And because it was Mark Martin and Kevin Harvick, like right neck and neck. All these races that we're talking about were like super close victories. And um, glad he won because you never know when you're gonna get another chance, that was proven by Dale Earnhardt. He won his only one in 1998, and uh, Harvick won his against Mark Martin in a very close race. And uh, this was the actual car, didn't it? You can still see the confetti is still on it, the stickiness from the champagne and the beer and all the stuff from Victory Lane. It's just like it rolled off Victory Lane, and they parked it right here, and it's sitting just like, just like he rolled out of, out of Victory Lane in it. So really cool history. Well, we just finished up at the uh, Richard Childress Racing Museum, which was just awesome. Mm -hmm. And now we're out at the Childress Vineyards, which is it's beautiful out awesome. here. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Just driving in here, just seeing all the vineyards. Yeah, just rows and rows. Yeah. It's crazy. The landscape, um, the building up the there. Building. We haven't even been up there yet. Yeah. I'm sure that it's just going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Leslie doesn't I expect like nothing less. Yeah, you don't like wine, but no. just seeing stuff like this is pretty cool. Yeah. I yeah. can appreciate it. Yeah. I just I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll taste some. <laughs> Maybe they can change my mind, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, let's go check it out. Okay. It's amazing out here. Yeah. I could stay all day on this vineyard. <laughs> yeah. And we have our slushies. Out. Yes. <laughs> I have uh, peach bellini. Mm -hmm. And you have? Watermelon. Yeah. Wine slushies. Wine slushies is the bomb. And you get to keep the tumbler. Yeah. They told us what kind of wine they made mm -hmm. uh, these slushies out of. So we're going to buy some wine. Yes, we are. And some flavoring. And make, make our own wine slushies. slushies. <laughs> That's right. But um, man, I'm gonna become a slush lush. <laughs> slush lush. <laughs> Hashtag slush slush. lush. <laughs> Might have to add that to the wag swag. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, uh it's very just, cool out here. It's beautiful. You really could just sit out here all day. You could. Oh, and it's five miles from the 
from Richard the Children's Museum. Yeah. So really easy, bad. right down the road. So we're gonna finish our slushes mm -hmm. and hang out here in the beautiful vineyard. And then we're gonna go to dinner with some new YouTube friends. Yes. Yeah. It's gonna be a fun-filled day. Well, if you watched last week, you know that our truck was smashed to pieces. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> to pieces. Yeah, well, a couple of scratches. Yeah, but yeah. today we're going to the dealership and they're going to fix her up. It's going to take a few days and her insurance company is going to give us a rental car. Yeah. So we're taking predictions on what kind of car we're going to get. What's your prediction? Chevy Malibu. Ooh, a Malibu. Fancy. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get quite that fancy. It's going to be like bottom of the barrel. No, it's not. Whatever we got left on a lot. Oh, no. It's probably like green, purple. No. It's going to be a purple Ford Focus. What kind of rental car places have you been to in the past? Look. <laughs> I'm from a small town. Like, we I played for a soccer team called Ugly Duckling Rental Car. <laughs> you get a car for like. I don't even know what to say. To you that. get a car for like <laughs> 50 bucks a week. It would only work for like the first two days, but. Well, that's not where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it'll be better. All right. Okay. Small piece of crap, purple car. It's my not. My prediction. Whatever. <laughs> Well, there she is. There's the Nissan Frontier rental from New Jersey. Yeah, she's not bad. At least it's a crew cab, so we can still put stuff in it and stuff. But, um, yeah, it'll work. I mean, it's not leather. There's no GPS. There's no sunroof. There's no automatic windshield wipers. There's no heated and cooled seats. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're roughing it with this little Frontier. But I guess we can scrape by for the next four or five days. It's going to be rough. <laughs> well, let me tell you a story about the, the old flux capacitor. Like you saw before, I forgot to hit the confirm order deal. And then so went back and ordered it. And uh, it's been over a week. It's been like seven, eight days since I uh, ordered it. And I called the place to find out where the order was because ordered it priority mail and still wasn't here finally got somebody on the phone and the dude's like um oh yeah it's on back order and we don't know when we're gonna get them but never sent us an email nothing and i'm like well that's crazy man why don't you let us know so i had to cancel that order and i had to order it from someplace else and now we're not going to be at this location long enough to get it here so we went ahead and ordered it and the next stop's only a week in richmond virginia so we went ahead and ordered it and had it sent up to uh the brazen brits farm <laughs> we've been sending them all kinds of mail because <laughs> it's a known location for us but anyway i'm going to show you what we're doing to overcome the situation because it is the compa the capacitor and the capacitor really only starts starts the fan so we can manually start the air conditioner and it's so hot that we have to have both air conditioners going so it looks like it's going to be about another uh, week and a half before we actually have the capacitor and be able to install that so uh what i have to do is i have to get up on the roof every day and jump start it so come along with me onto the roof i'll show you how we jump start this bad boy there's only four screws you got one screw on each on the back end here and then two screws on the front i'll take that off and then i'll take the whole cover off now the fan is in there this is the fan right here and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call leslie I'll have her kick the air conditioner on. When I hear the buzzing of the capacitor trying to start it, I'm going to take this fan with my finger and I'm just going to spin her clockwise and she'll kick on. Hello. 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 All right, kick her on. All right. 
all right just heard the buzz of it try to kick on you see the fans not spinning so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin this guy clockwise if you spin it counterclockwise it's not gonna blow the fan the correct direction so you just give this a spin it'll catch now she's spinning she's on and Leslie's got her turned down to a very cool temperature so um, so she'll be running all day long the downfall of it is is I got to get up here every day and spin this thing to get her started but gotta do what we gotta do until we get our flux capacitor in the mail I think you just put the cover back on we'll do it again tomorrow well as you can see behind us we got our truck back yes I missed her so much it's so weird because we felt tiny in the yeah. little frontier yeah you get back in this thing it's like oh, feel like you're driving an 18 wheeler again all is right in the world yeah but we're <laughs> glad to have it back completely uh, fixed mm -hmm. looks good yeah looks brand new would never know yeah and uh, didn't cost us a dime mm -hmm. it was about a thousand dollars worth of damage total yeah because they had to replace the bumper not repair the bumper mm -hmm. which we kind of knew that was the case yeah I knew from that. jump street but mm -hmm. you know the insurance adjusters they try to do their thing and try to make it as painless Cheap as possible, as possible. Yeah, as cheap as possible. I was being nice. Oh, sorry. But um, yeah, they try to get away with spending as, as least amount of money as possible. But bumper had to be replaced. Yeah. And uh, so we got that back now. We've done a ton of stuff in Winston Salem already, yeah. and there was just there's just so much footage that we had to to cut it in in half. There's plenty more to see. Yeah. Um, but we did get um, the flux capacitor ordered finally. We got the capacitor ordered. We got the capacitor ordered <laughs> finally, and uh, here again. it's on its way to the Brits. Yeah, <laughs> we got a lot of stuff on the way to the Brits. Yeah, we got a new door on the way to the Brits. We'll talk about that some more. Yeah, probably when we get there. Uh, our, we had an issue with our bathroom door, and uh, Keystone sent us a new door. Yeah, and awesome Keystone. The next known location that we had where we could send a door. Yeah, was. <laughs> Lawrence and Natalie's. Yeah. So thank you guys for letting us send all this yes, stuff. Yes, thank you. We sent our new business cards to them. Lauren sending mail to them. Our mail is good. Yeah. yeah. So here's a disclaimer <laughs> because, you know, when we knew we were meeting up with Michael and Shelley from Our Epic RV Adventure, uh, we used them as a mailing address also. So here's yeah. a disclaimer. If you are friends with us and we are planning to come see you, we're sending stuff we're to your house. <laughs> <laughs> just just get ready to just get a bunch of yeah. stuff in the mail for us just, and we appreciate it yes we do <laughs> <laughs> and scout has been out loving scout life Scout has enjoyed the area yeah well he's got ducks to watch out here yeah and uh he's been eating lots of grass insects and bees he's been slaying bees he loves bumblebees yeah Probably not the healthiest thing to eat, but he, no, but you, you, he's so fast, you can't stop him. No, when he sees it, he, he just lunges for and it. And I haven't been able to get him on film doing it because he's so fast. Yeah. Like a bee will land, bam, and it's gone. And like, it, it's it, gone. Yeah. So you unless just I just... hear crunching on it. Yeah. <laughs> unless I just had the 24-hour scout cam. Yeah. Wouldn't be able to, to catch it, but he's mm -hmm. just chilling out here now. But, um... But yeah, there's plenty more to see, so yeah. make sure you watch again next week because there's a bunch of more cool stuff in the Winston-Salem, Greensboro, Ashboro, That's Lexington true. area. Yeah. There's lots of stuff to do out here. Yeah, it's a great area. And it's just beautiful. And some stuff is closed because of the situation. Yeah, a lot but of stuff's been closed. A lot of stuff is open. There's plenty still to do. Yeah, and some partial opens. Yeah. So. so we're having a good time. First time in the Carolinas and we're just having them all. Yes. It's beautiful country. We can't wait to show you the rest of it next yeah. week. But um, for now, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor Fallen Hero. We appreciate you watching. See you next week. Bye. Bye.